Michael just discussed what went on in Texas late Friday, where basically they passed that anti-women, anti-choice abortion bill that basically tells women they have no choice, they have no rights over their body to choose what they would like. That assaults basic for their constitutional health protections. After 20 weeks of being pregnant, it also basically closes all but five abortion clinics in all of Texas. Five abortion clinics will be open in all of Texas. And I'd like to, you know, say that women who get abortion, the, the far majority of women who get abortion after 20 weeks of pregnancy are basically to save the mother's life. Uh, but anyway, that bill has signed, has been, uh, that bill has been passed and Rick Perry will no doubt sign it. But uh, if you are a right-wing a-hole like Fox News contributor and editor of editor-in-chief of redstate.com, like Eric Erickson is, then you might have got a big laugh out of all of this. Because, you know, putting women's lives on the line is a big, it's a big joke to these right-wingers, to these pro-lifers. The life of a woman is just, it's a big joke. It's a laugh. Ha ha. Um, so Eric Erickson, who we most recently, I mean, he is a well-known D-bag. And we spoke about him just recently on this show as basically he was on that Fox News panel that got a lot of attention because he said that the decline of civilization began when women started to work. When women became the breadwinners in the family, that's when the decline of family and society and civilization began. Because women should just be sitting at home listening to their husbands, taking care of the children, because they are just property of men, and that's what men want them to do, apparently. So Eric Erickson took to Twitter after this abortion bill passed, and he tweeted, Dear liberals, go bookmark this site now. And there's a link to a website called storesupply.com. And the rest of the URL brings you to something that says hangers. And if you click through, it's a website where you can buy all sorts of clothing hangers. What Eric Erickson is basically saying is he's making a joke out of the fact that whether abortion is legal or illegal in this country, women will still get them like they always have throughout history. However, when you make them illegal, women are forced to do things like get back alley abortions or find other methods where they're not in the proper medical scenario, where they're not being taken care of by the proper medical uh, professionals. Uh, things are being used like clothing hangers, wire hangers are being stuck up their, their, their private parts to basically abort the child in a procedure that not only puts a woman's life, it basically puts the woman's life online. She can kill herself, she can be killed in this procedure very easily. It's disgusting that this is the joke here, that he finds this funny. Um, he put out an apology on redstate.com and the apology opens with this sentence because I'm not gonna read the rest of this trash. But the apology opens up with this sentence so you know how sorry this ass is. I must offer up my sincerest apologies to the kid killing caucus that took it on the chin or other body parts in Texas last night. <sighs> Jesus. He deleted the tweet, by the way, the Dear Liberals tweet with the link to the clothing hanger. Um, you can, he's going to argue that that's the reason he took it down, because he's sorry, he didn't mean to, with that real mocking of an apology that's just as bad as the tweet itself. Um, but there's another interesting thing that happened a little bit later on on his Twitter feed, and that was storesupply.com, the company who was in that, who was, sells those clothing hangers, which I'm going to assume they sell the clothing hangers, you know, to hang up your clothing, not to, Probably. you know, have abortions with. They put out a statement on their Twitter account, even at, uh, 
adding, replying to Eric Erickson so he could see it, saying, we have got nothing to do with this. We do not hold this position whatsoever. I mean, good for them for coming out. They should have basically said, we, um, instead of just saying we don't want anything to do with this, they should have just said this is disgusting. We don't support what he's saying. Right. Um, but they're doing you know, the usual corporate speak. We don't want to take sides, which there is only one side really to take. And at least what Eric Erickson said, if you want to get in the whole There's thing, only one side yeah. to take on a coat hanger joke. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, fair enough. Store Supply said they don't want to be involved. And Eric Erickson, in a tweet directed just to them, maybe hoping no one else really would see it, said, I know that's why I deleted the tweet. <laughs> so Eric Erickson put out this he public... He is such a weasel, He man. put out this public apology, basically, you know, mocking women, but in a way where he could still save face, but take it down. I'm sure what really happened was he got a phone call from Fox News where he's a contributor, and they said, you know, you know we hold these positions, but let's do it in such a way where it's not wide open like that. We do it in a way where, you know, it's not so obvious that we want women to have to kill themselves to get an abortion. Um, but he probably got a phone call from Roger Ailes or someone saying, you got to delete this tweet. And then he put out this, you know, mocking apology to, to try to save face with his, his base. But then when the truth probably came out a little bit, uh, if the Roger Ailes thing, you know, even if the Roger Ailes thing is true, it comes down to money. Uh, he was worried about this poor corporation. <laughs> he didn't want to hurt the poor feelings of storesupply.com. That is how you work your way to Eric Erickson. So, yeah. Eric Erickson, still a douche. He's also just so, like, he's such a... I remember when, when he said that comment about woman working and... Tampons, and tampons are banned, but obviously douchebags are still welcome. <laughs> <laughs>